Come on, come on, please work. Come on. Yes, it worked. All right, let's get the data copied before it dies. Yes, 100%. Ah, oh, that's good. Oh, now this is what data recovery really looks like. I was working on an emergency job for a client yesterday and overnight. They were paying us extra so we could work all day, all night to get it back as fast as possible. And in the early hours of this morning around 5 a.m., Windows 10 decided to do a forced update and restart this computer. I wasn't sure how far I got and I was trying to basically set up this hard drive to continue cloning to that hard drive and I was worried that maybe it only copied 20% and it was going to take a long time because we promised our client we'd get the data back for them as fast as humanly possible. Good news is, when I resumed it, it finished 100% and looked like it must have uh, finished before Windows had restarted. Um, so this is what data recovery looks like. It's um, I'm making this video on a Saturday. It's a weekend. I'll be posting this on social media for you tomorrow on Sunday because I need a bit of time to add the captions in there at the bottom. And um, I've got a very uh, urgent Western Digital hard drive just down here. I'm just going to lift it up for you, one of these. It's making some grinding and screeching noises, and we're basically just doing some babysitting. This hard drive might stop working, it might fail. This is another urgent job that we're working on currently. And uh, we've got roughly, uh, this is a tool called PC2000 that's, um, that we're using. We've got about 60% of the, the sectors cloned, it's very unstable. Sometimes this drive needs a bit of jiggling, a bit of waving around, uh, a little bit of kind of, um, uh, I'd say a gyroscopic effect movement, just a bit of babysitting to keep it going. Um, other times when it starts getting really bad, power it off, leave it off for a little bit of time, and uh, we may need to replace the heads if the heads die. So this drive's actually had a, uh, sorry, it's a bit down here. This drive's actually had a head replacement, and uh, it's very, very unstable. But the good news is it's, it's copying data, it's jumping, we've, we've set up our data recovery program here to basically jump about 100,000 sectors every time it hits an error, and um, that's what it looks like. So data recovery isn't always people in clean room suits and, and doing electronics, sometimes it's just dealing with software, making decisions, trying to do what's best for customers and making sure whether we keep our promises for our customers. And uh, one difference between our company and other data recovery companies is that we always work on things on Saturdays, Sundays, public holidays, um, especially with Christmas and New Year's coming up. We're working on things remotely. Um, I know as soon as I wake up in the morning, I sort of go to my computer and log into my office computers with TeamViewer, remote access, make sure the job's going so we can finish everything as fast as possible without any delays. So the, the purpose of today's video is really to show you this is what data recovery is probably 90% of the time in a data recovery office. I basically got something working and now we have to babysit it. Sometimes the cloning process is very straightforward, but unfortunately most data recovery companies don't get the easy ones. So we're getting the very unusual ones with hard drives that have fallen downstairs, hard drives that have been in fire, hard drives that have got uh, system area or firmware corruption, and they don't do what they're supposed to do. Um, the key for being good, a good data recovery technician and engineer is being patient and understanding and not swearing and banging on the table and yelling at the computer and saying, why doesn't things just work the way they should? Because in data recovery, that doesn't generally happen. I think it's been probably you know, at least 10 years since I got a lot of easy jobs. Most of the jobs are getting really complicated and they take time and lots of babysitting. So I hope you found this interesting as a behind the scenes look of what data recovery looks like on a weekend. Good news is, I think in a matter of uh, 10 minutes, this customer is gonna get a file listing video and email from us. We're going to send this customer the good news that we recovered all the data with a video preview of what we can see, a list of all the files and payment instructions. This other job over here, the, the yellow one, and that one looks like it's probably going to take about two more days, but I'm just about to go to our CRM system, email the customer, let her know how it's going, and it's going to take a few more days. At this point, we don't know if the data is good, but we know we're going to get something back and it just may not be everything. So with more time, hopefully we'll get the majority of files back. Hope you found this interesting. If there's anything you'd like to see in future videos, please post a comment below. I'm very transparent about the data recovery field and business. 
And if you'd like to know more about anything, please ask.